I want to make sure this video stays fluid. It's so obnoxious getting those choppy videos. So, I hear you don't like my shirt. Or my shirts. Well, everybody seemed to like that black one with the roses, the red roses on it. I like that shirt. It snaps. It snaps on the other side, too. It's like you snap down this way instead of, the, instead of this way. Uh, that shirt yesterday is fucking sweet. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's like fucking nylon. It must have been made in the 70s at some point. And it's just like crazy design. It's like real tight. Like small, but long sleeves. And then they kind of like flare out. Dude, it's fucking awesome. Maybe because you only saw it from the neck up. Maybe it's just because you have no taste in fashion. No, I don't think that you have no taste in fashion. I just think if you don't like that shirt, you're missing something. Um, I want to... Oh, and now I'm wearing a pink shirt. What do you think about that? This thing layers well. I also like to wear it every once in a while out. Amanda said it makes me look gay. You know what? I don't give a fuck. Why did I start off with you know what? In my mind, I thought I don't give a fuck. But then I didn't say it. Because it's it's nervous, I, you know, it's nerve-wracking to say, I don't care, but I don't. Um, so, I wanted to talk about, God, the last month, particularly what happened, and I'm sorry that I lied to you. And I know I didn't like blatantly lie, I didn't say like, I've never fucked around on Amanda, but, you know, I, I, I was deceiving you. I was deceiving myself, ultimately, and everyone around me. And that's, I've never really apologized to you before. And by you, I mean anybody that had watched any of my videos before this. But like I, I mean, I know it doesn't matter. I was gonna say, I, I made a video about it before I even told Amanda about it, but it's not for you, because it's not about you. It's not even about Amanda, it's about me. It's about me being honest with myself. And I would have told Amanda about it if she was here when I got home, but she wasn't here, so I made a video waiting for her, and then I, she got home. Um, and then, it was just also, so I don't really talk about it much. And then I made these videos, these really intense videos, and put them up, and that was when the shit hit the fan with my management company. And they were like, these videos are too personal, take, you know, we can't work with this. And so I took them down, and I feel fucking awful that I took them down. And you know what fucking sucked about it? Is it just, it, it, everything got so interrupted in my life. When I took those down and experienced this with Amanda, like, I was really really moving towards like maybe I was just moving towards that moment of disruption and it was just massive it's fucked up my train of thought it's fucked up everything and I fucking feel awful about it and I feel like I, I have shame about the fact that I've lied to people And I just want to get my train of thought rolling again. It's, I'm trying to the last the last couple few few of the last videos. I don't know. I, I just try to like really just relax and and just explore. You know, just talk, just see what happens, see what comes out. But I keep. I just. I feel so bad. I feel like I am a liar. And I don't like that feeling. And I don't want to feel it. Which is why I'm not going to lie anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like my mind is just, I, I, I keep wanting to say how, that I'm sorry. 
that I lied to you, that I deceived you as part of this, as part of this selfish process that I'm, that I'm having. Which is what this is. This is a, just a selfish process and, and everyone around me is experiencing my pain with me. And it's like people don't want it to be painful, but people want have faith that it won't always be painful maybe. Or maybe it's that people really do want to feel the pain because it helps us in a way. It's, an ex it's extreme, but it, it helps us. When we experience the extremes, we learn how to balance them. And maybe me experiencing it is actually when other people are watching me really feel it. They're feeling it, and, and God, it's fucking cold in here. And, and I'm not going to break my train of thought. And uh, people are feeling it with me, and they're also growing from it with me. And that's why people are, are sticking around. But like, like my own mind is like, Ian, you're a, you're a bad person. Sometimes it does. Like right now, I feel just, I mean, it's like in my subconscious, I really feel like dirty, like a liar. And I've been a liar my whole life. But then who's not? Everyone's a liar. You're a liar. And don't fucking say you're not. But it, it's about, it's because not, I'm, I was going to say it's not about you, but it is. It's about you and it's about me. This is about the connection between two people. But this is a connection, and it's also between you and me, and it's also between me and my mind, me and my subconscious, which is me and you. So like having a conversation with someone, like a real flowing conversation is like talking to God because you're learning just the experience. There's nothing like it except for talking to your own mind. Oh, God. Ah, I'm getting fucking whacked out in this video. I didn't mean for this video to get existential. I want this to be more about what I feel about what happened and I hate that I took my videos down I fucking hate it I will never take a video down again maybe if like YouTube is like dude this is a copyright infringement but even then I don't know no I'm not going to take any more videos down if I post it it's staying up and that's the way it's got to be it's a trust thing and I want you to trust me I mean as much as we're capable of it. And I'll trust you. I think that we can do it. I think it can be complete. I'll listen. I'll see you later.